Hey people, so I'm preparing to make a build video for a small grid mining rig and I came up with this thing as a utility vehicle for making that and I went a bit of a bore. So the reason I made it was that I need to put a large detector on a small grid and that needs to be placed. So I thought I would make a vehicle for doing that now and in the future. And I also wanted to mess around with hinges. So yeah, this thing, it lifts stuff. And we got this arm here, it is controlled by moving the mouse uh, forward and backwards, uh, which moves the arm up and down. As you can see out in the front, it is kept level with the ground using three hinges. And which is another thing I love about the hinges is that I can relatively easily stack them side by side, getting the, well, three times the torque in this uh, situation. And in here, I'm using them uh, on top of the pistons to make them flex as they're supposed to and it's working pretty stably I haven't really noticed a lot of freak out uh, in comparison to how rotors usually do on small grid with pistons like this so yeah I'm pretty satisfied with that um, so yeah let's just lift this up out here this weighs about 13 tons and uh, yeah it's a large grid corner blocks so let's just lift that up relatively easily here and I added the mode, doesn't work too well because we have a lot of weight on here but if I press 3 the wheels will turn and I can turn using the mouse as well so I go up and down using the mouse and turn using the mouse on top of that and as you can see even with the 13 tons it's kept pretty level by the 3 hinges in here they have a lot of torque for small grid and that is uh, a limit on our range with this kind of mass so yeah, it's all working. I did feature creep quite a bit uh, in regards to the smoothing and the features. I actually kind of wanted to add more. Uh, I was considering putting the wheels on hinges as well, so I could move sideways. That would be really useful in a lot of situations. And if this thing is popular enough on the workshop, that is definitely a thing I will do in the future. Uh, well, update it too. I might do it anyways, but... Uh, yeah, more personal use if people don't <laughs> care, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is basically its intended purpose. Placing a, a big detector on a small grid. And the key here is to just place it centered and close enough to the small rotor. Which I have uh, previously removed the rotor head on. Go in here, control panel, advanced rotor, attach and it snaps into place. And we can now disconnect this thing and back up and we have a detector attached to a small grid. So that is basically the purpose of this machine. And that's about all I have. So uh, yeah, as I said, I'm going to upload this to the workshop. It's going to be in the description below. And as I said, if it gets popular enough, I will keep updating it because it's actually a fun little vehicle, I think a lot of power uh, in these uh, hinges as you can see with the 20 ton vehicle here uh, we are lifting ourselves up oh yeah one last thing before I cut off actually uh, I've noticed that the hinges say they got a max torque of a thousand mega newtons that brings them on par with large grid rotors and hinges and while they're supposed to be the same I've noticed that they're not exactly as strong seemingly um, I think that may be some scaling issues with how Keen applies forces, uh, depending on the size of blocks or something like that, or maybe even the size of the grid. I don't know, but I've had mixed experiences. But then again, we can stack them up, so it's really not a problem. We can add an insane amount of force to a very small place. Um, so yeah, right, that is it. So, link in the description i'm gonna make uh, a build video for the mining rig small grid mining rig within a week or so i got a few other plans i gotta get out of the way first but yeah uh, if you're interested in that keep an eye out and uh, yeah thank you for watching and see you